Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I DIY a headpiece out of simple materials I have laying around my house. I got the inspiration from these gorgeous photos of Jess Drew taken by Bella Kotak. The headpiece in these images was handmade by Miss G Designs and I am way obsessed with her intricate, gorgeous, magical work. After checking out Miss G's Etsy shop, I found that a headpiece like this is worth about $500 to $700. But today, we're going to try and recreate it for free using only the items I already have at home. I've gathered a handful of simple things I have laying around the house that I think I might be able to use for my headpiece. I didn't end up using everything, but my official materials list ended up being a headband, party hats, tinfoil, two plastic grocery bags, a cereal box, hot glue, spray paint, fake flowers, lace trim, and a piece of old costume jewelry I had laying around. The base of my headpiece is an old headband. I still have a couple of cheap party hats I'd gotten at the dollar store from back when I had made Zelda pose for her first birthday, so I'm using that for the base of my horns. I'm starting by wrapping the party hats in a couple layers of tinfoil. I'm working with foil because it's lightweight and the easiest material to mold. Once both the hats are covered and I like the shape I've created, I'm using hot glue to keep the foil in place. Next, I have to make the horns gold. Pro level tip, tin foil is almost impossible to paint or spray paint because the surface is so slippery. It just doesn't stick. So I'm starting with a quick brushed base coat of gold paint, knowing it won't coat the foil well, but once it dries, it should change the texture of the tin foil and a coat of spray paint should stick better. Next, I spray paint all my flowers. The white ones were left over from past projects, and the pink ones I'd actually gotten at the Michaels Craft Dollar Bin years ago. I'm super excited about these because they look so similar to the ones on Miss G's headpiece. Once the horns are dry, I coat them with a layer of gold spray paint, and it sticks. After my flowers dry, I go over them quickly with a few brushes of gold paint just to add a little extra depth and shine. Then I brush a layer of gold paint over my lace trim. This was actually a piece I had cut off of a vintage wedding dress I'd thrifted years ago. Clearly I never throw anything out. Once everything is painted gold, it's time to let it sit and dry overnight. On to day two and everything is dry. I'm gonna start piecing everything together today. I'm starting with this little gold bracelet. I've never worn it, so I figured I wouldn't miss it. I thought it would look pretty draping across the forehead, so I'm securing it to the front of the headband with hot glue. Next, I'm covering the headband with the painted lace trim. I was going to put it around the base of the horns, but I decided I really loved the way it looked across the top of the band. Once the lace is fully secured, it's time to add the horns. Since the horns are hollow, I have to add some sort of base so that they can be secured to the headband. I'm using a couple of circles cut out of my cardboard cereal box. So I thought this would work, but the horns were just too flimsy and not secure enough with just a thin line of hot glue around the edges. So I packed the center of the horns with plastic grocery bags. That way I can glue the bags to the inside of the horns and the cardboard circles, creating an overall stronger base. Then I really piled on the hot glue. Like, really, really piled it on.
Next, I'm adding leaves and flowers. I like how the leaves kind of looked like little ears here next to the horns. The gold flowers fit so perfectly and really tie the horns together. A few last final finishing touches and extra flowers and the headpiece is ready to go. so much for joining me today as I DIY'd my headpiece. I hope it was not only inspiring for you to watch the process and the creation, but that it also kind of shone a light on the idea that you don't need to have tons of money or fancy high-end equipment and materials to make something beautiful, exciting, and inspired. As long as you're open to being creative with the things you already have, you can make anything. If you liked this video or found it inspiring, please give it a like and remember to subscribe to my channel so that I can share more of my creativity with you.